So All right, why? I have a quick question, Richard, and this okay. is important, I think. I've seen a picture of Ison taken recently that shows something out in front of it, just barely in front of it. What is that? Okay, that was seen in 1957 in a comet called Markov. Google Comet Markov 1957, and you'll see what's called a sun spike. It's an illusion. It's Sounds a like thin you. plane okay. of dust seen at a key angle that appears to be ahead of the comet, but it's actually a visual projection effect. Okay, because the illusion. Dust is, it, it's kind of, remember the McNaught uh, image, several images up, showing those yes. beautiful striations? I it's do. that scene sideways projected ahead of the comet visually from our geometric angle. Hey, guys, angle. Chrono 16. Okay. Okay. Today is date October 2nd, 2013. On screen here is an enhanced picture over at uh, BruceGary.net website linked under this video. Uh, Bruce Gary, for you guys who don't know, is an amateur astronomer that has been covering Comet Ison very well, actually. I think he has the best coverage of this comet of any amateur astronomer on the planet so far. And he's really keeping on this. And he has several enhanced uh, pictures uh, on his website from uh, Tony Scomato, who's also an amateur astronomer. Uh, and these p enhanced pictures show uh, a sun-facing jet, a sun-pointing jet uh, in the pictures. Now, what is a sun-pointing jet? Well, a sun-pointing jet is nothing unusual, guys. Uh, it has happened to a very few amount of comets that we've been keeping records of over the years. But it has happened before, and it's nothing unusual. Uh, but I want to address the people out there who continuously keep making videos here on YouTube misleading people. I, I, I can't for the life of me understand why people want to keep making videos purposefully misleading people with the titles of their videos, taking images of common ice and, and changing them to uh, red colors and then misleading them by saying, oh, well, there appears to be an object out in front of Ison stirring it. There's no object in front of Ising stirring Ison at all. Ison is just a comet. Uh, nothing too unusual about it. It is rare that these uh, apparent sun-pointing jets show up. Uh, um, but it doesn't mean that the jet is actually spewing from the coma of the comet. What this is, guys, is an optical illusion, and I'll prove that to you here in a second because this happened a few times before with other comets. So let's go down here and, and, and prove that to you right now. This website here is linked under this video, and it starts off with this right here. A well-known amateur astronomer and comet photographer, Alan McClure, was a member of the Stony Ridge Observatory for a short time, serving on the SRO Executive Committee. A committee as an expediter during the planning and construction phases between 1957 and 1959. Allen, uh, Allen's comet photography has been widely published in scientific papers and texts and on magazine covers, Sky and uh, Telescope. A number of his photographs were also published in the classic Burnham's Celestial Handbook. Now the photo right here, you see on screen, is a photo of a comet Aaron Rowland was taken by Alan McClure on April 24, 1957, and presented to the members of the SRO at the meeting the next night. This image clearly shows the rare anti-tail or sun-pointing tail feature of the comet. Now, anti-tails have been produced by only a few comets in history, some being Aaron Rowland, 1957, Hellbop, and Kohatek in 1973. The anti-tail is not actually pointing toward the sun, but is a projection, an optical illusion, guys. Projection, projection, again, on effect of dust in the comet's orbital path. The dust in the path behind the comet becomes visible when the comet's orbit lies in the same path, uh, same plane as the Earth's. So in other words, guys, this is an optical illusion, what appears to be, okay, a jet coming out from the coma, but it's not actually a jet. It's dust, guys, in the path of the comet. There's nothing there. There's no, no physical object there, okay? So when you go back and you look at the pictures on Bruce Gurry's website that the Tony Scomato took, 
that's not an actual physical object in front of the comet and it has happened before the reason why these guys have these pictures color enhanced like that is to show you the structure of the tail leading down to the coma and it also points out and shows you the structure of the dust out in front of the comet okay that's all these pictures are showing you right here there's no object when he says tail in particular structures he's pointing out the different structures of the inner tail out behind the coma of the comet because obviously when you get into the inner structure of the tail it's a lot thicker with the dust and it thins out as you go farther out in the layers that's why the colors are changing as you get farther out of the comet tail at all okay that's what you're looking at when you look at these pictures okay so when you go here and you take this picture of um, uh, this picture is of a uh, Kohatek I believe it is yes you can see the picture here and when you zoom in on Kohatek I, I believe that's how you pronounce it guys uh, you can see in this picture there is what they also call a sun spike showing out in front of this comet as well and you can kind of play with it there and look at it or you know dim it all the way down or do whatever you want to do with the picture but as you can see uh, it's out in front of that one too anyway let's go to this next picture now here's an enhanced picture taken off of Bruce Gary's website of uh, latest picture of Comet Ison the latest one he has up there and it's kind of been enhanced and what he's done in this picture is uh, enhanced it to show you the inter core of Comet uh, Ison and that's what that little speck is right there and you can see the little speck right there guys okay that's a sun spike there okay a sun with pointing tail anti tail okay pointing toward the sun that's what that is right there in that picture and that's all that that's all that is in the picture that's what you're looking at and I enhanced the, the picture here to show you that's what you're seeing in the picture uh, as he's taken several hundred actually pictures to construct that one picture so when you look at these pictures guys and the pictures being released by Bruce Gary on his website and here's a picture that was taken from the Hubble Space Telescope showing the same thing. And you also have to remember, guys, Comet Ison was actually brighter several months ago than it is now. Again, nothing unusual because comets are very, very unpredictable. Very unpredictable. Okay? So I wanted to point that out to you guys. Go check out all this stuff for yourself. The links are under this video. It's real easy, guys, to simply look this stuff up and, 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 and understand what you're looking at. This jet here is not a jet spewing from Ison. Ison is rotating, guys. Okay? If this were an actual jet spewing from the coma, then that would mean that Ison is not rotating. Ison is rotating. Okay? This is more or less an optical illusion. I just explained it to you. You can go look that link up yourself under the video of dust out in front of Comet Ison okay and it's being projected out in front of it and all it is is dust it's not an actual jet blowing from the surface of the coma of Ison it's just dust okay so for you guys who are continuously making these videos misleading your subscribers uh, more power to you. I, I don't understand. Actually, I do understand why you're doing it. Uh, most of these guys who are making these videos intentionally, intentionally misleading you, and they're doing this to get more views, and they're doing this to get more subscribers. Okay? They're doing it to get more subscribers. Plain and simple. That's why they release these videos. Every time somebody releases a picture of common ice and anything that looks weird in the picture, these people point out that particular whatever it is that looks weird in the picture and says to you oh well, that's some sort of object that shouldn't be there no it's not guys okay it's simply dust projecting itself out in front of the comet and you can ask any scientist do your own research you're gonna come to the same conclusion if you really want a truthful answer as to what you're looking at if you want to be worried about something guys be worried about all these fireballs that have been shooting through our skies here on earth here lately Something is coming, guys. Something is coming toward the Earth. It has nothing to do with Ison. And a good 
reference uh, that I'm going to give you guys, a good person to go check these out at, is Mr. MBB333. He's linked under this video. Go check his website out. Subscribe to him, guys. He is on top of the fireball reports that are going on in this country. Subscribe to him, Mr. MBB333, guys. That's what you should be worried about. That's what you should be looking at and trying to figure out what's going on with instead of falling for all this false hype about ISIN, which is actually nothing right now. It's just a comet coming into our inner solar system and it's not even performing the way they forecast it. You want to worry about something, guys? Worry about worry about the fireballs. And if you guys want to get good information, either come to this channel, go to Mr. MBB333's website. Uh, J749 has some very good videos up about ISIN as well. Search out somebody who's going to give you real information about what's going on with common ISIN, guys. And stop following these people giving you all these fake lies and making phony videos trying to suggest that something is changing the course of Comet Ison or something is inbound with it. Uh, guys, come on. It's time to wake up and it's time if you want information, there is real information out here on YouTube, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Many blessings and peace to you.